This is Dr. Susan Thrall. We're going to add a combo box to allow us to find records. Previously, we added a simple combo box to just display customer names and customer IDs that go along with particular contract numbers. This video is going to show how to add a combo box that will be used to find records. We have a total of 66 records. We don't want to have to page down through 66 records, possibly, to find the record we're looking for. We're going to use a combo box, and when we drop open that combo box, we will choose a record, and then that record will display immediately in our form. We begin by going to Design View. The first thing you must do is to make sure that you have as your record source a table or query that you want to use to find the records. So we're going to select the entire form. Click the form selector in the upper left of the form and that way when we open the property sheet it will be the properties for the whole form not one individual object on the form. In record source make sure that you have which query or which table you want to use to find a particular record. We're going to use table contract. So we're going to use the contract numbers to find the record and display that particular record. Once we have that, we can close down the property sheet. Now make sure your Use Wizard Controls button is selected. That way the wizard will help us through putting our combo box onto the form. Then select Combo Box. Click where you would like the combo box to be. We're going to put it in the header. The wizard opens up. This time we're going to choose the third option where we're going to find a record on the form based on a value that I actually select in the combo box. Previously, all we wanted to do was display values from a table or query. This time, we want to use it to change what's in the form to show the information about the record that we select in the combo box. Click Next. Which fields do we want in our combo box? we're going to use contract num. That's how we're going to find our records. Click Next. The contract num column does not need to be resized. If you scroll down you will see it is large enough to fit all the contract numbers. Click Next. Lastly, what label would you like to see in your combo box? So instead of contract num1, we're going to put in Select Contract. Click Finish. We now have a new combo box on our form. Let's go to Form View and see how it works. So up here we have Select Contract. We drop down the arrowhead and all the contract numbers are there. So let's say we wanted to see one of the contract numbers closer to the bottom. Let's say we wanted to see 3099. So I click on that and immediately my contract number and the information about that contract changes to 3099. Once again, I'm dropping down the list of contract numbers. I choose one off the list and immediately the form changes to display that information. So, we have two different types of combo boxes that we have on this form. The first one we put on in part one was just to display information. So, contract number 3110 is for the Department of Neighborhood Development. This combo box in our header was used to select which record we wanted our form to display. When you are developing combo boxes, think of the purpose. Is it merely to display information 
or is it to select a record to display in the form?